Hello all, we are going to start with the second part of this tutorial, modeling a TV unit in Autodesk 3ds Max. Let's get started. So as we have seen over here, we have started the modeling of this TV unit. So let's start modeling a TV over here. So we'll go over here into the standard primitives and we'll take a box over here. So create a box for this TV. I'll right click on it, convert to editable poly. So as you can see the shape over here. So we'll just isolate it, right click on it and isolate selection. So once you isolate it, only this object is visible, the rest gets red. The next thing over here, we'll go into this polygon, select this polygon and we have an option over here called inset. So let's inset this over here, can just insert it a bit. The second thing, we'll go to this bevel option, let's do the bevel part and do the beveling. Okay, so as the best back, uh, back part is not going to be visible, so we'll keep it as it is. Let's click OK. So click on the front part, give the inset option, click OK. The same thing over here too, we are going to take a bevel option and we'll push it inside and increase this height. Better, that's it. So we can shift a bit in front. Right click and isolate. So we'll go to this view, select the vertices and we can shift, shift a bit down. That's it. Now, as you can see, we are going to model this vase. For this, we are going to use a spline modeling. So we'll take a line from it. Click over here. Take a line. Let's create a shape. Okay. So we're just going to create a straight shape and click OK. So now go into this, select this vertices and we have an option over here that is fillet. So let's give a bit of fillet and click OK. As you can see over here, now the shape over here is a 2D shape. So let's make it as, as 3D. can go into this modifier list and we have an option called lathe. So let's take a lathe modifier and into this we will take the alignment as minimum and take the z axis sorry y axis so let's go into it go into this line option select the vertices activate this and we will create this shape So you can on and off the shape to check. So you can go into this view and you can edit the shape how it looks like. So you can uh, activate the shape 
once again and you can check it that's it so if you want to switch this a bit up so you can switch it up So if you want to add the segments or vertices, there is option called right click on it and you can select the refine option over here and you can add the vertices over here. So after you are done with this step, you can just switch it and if you don't need it you can just uh, delete that particular shape okay now the next thing we are going to do is right click on it you can convert to editable poly if your shape is perfect please convert the shape into the editable poly so right click convert to editable poly and if you want to give a bit of thickness you have a modifier called shell so you can give a shell modifier to give it a bit of more thickness so you can scale it and you can push this over here so as you can resize it if you need to resize it you can just resize it accordingly and you can make one more copy of it and scale this a bit more bigger So now we can make the speakers as you can see uh, you can detail the speakers or you can you know you can use make it a detail by applying the textures also so we will uh, model it we will take this box over here for the speakers you can reduce the size this is the height right click convert to editable poly you can go into this view and you can use this uh, swift loop options over here one at this corner one at this corner select this polygon and you can use a bevel over here you can use a bevel option go over here you reduce this height of this bevel and click ok scale it a bit more this can give you a better look if you need more details we can uh, soften its edges by chamfer option over here you can add a bit of chamfer and you can add this property to give it more softer edge or you can say a smoother edge so you can select all you can give the plain flat color now okay so we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. Till then, thank you.